Another! Hello everybody, good day to you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and or good night. Whichever of those applies to you at this current point in time. We return to one of our mini Jeep project vehicles. This is another Cherokee Sport. The four liter straight six with 226,446 miles on the odometer. It suffers from excessive tailpipe emissions, meaning it is smoking on occasion and it also uh, has a little bit of oil consumption. Uh, not too surprising at 226,446 miles, but uh, I'm gonna try to uh, perform a service on this to remedy that. There's gonna be two things causing that excessive smoking. We're gonna have worn and dried out valve stem seals, so oil is leaving from the, uh, the top of the valve cover, wicking down the valve stems and then entering the combustion chamber. Uh, the other source of that possible smoking is the rings, the oil control rings around the pistons themselves may be coked up and clogged with carbon and that is causing those rings to fail to expand, allowing oil to pass the rings, thus entering the combustion chamber and becoming burnt during the ignition cycle. First things first is we're gonna pull the valve cover off of this because it has an excessive engine oil leak and we're gonna regasket that valve cover. While it's off, we're gonna get a good visual uh, with regards to how much uh, corrosion or, well, carbon buildup, actually, carbon and sludge buildup. We're gonna take note of how much carbon and sludge buildup is in there. We're gonna clean it out using uh, some BG cleaner. Uh, this is gonna be a rather invasive procedure. What's gonna happen here is we're gonna drain the engine oil out of this thing. I'm then going to install a gallon of cleaning solution, not the little pint thing. It's gonna be an entire gallon. Now, we're gonna run the engine at about 3,000 RPMs for about 45 minutes after that gallon is installed. Once we uh, get through that 45 minute period, if there's no fire or anything crazy like that, we're gonna drain that out. We're gonna add in another gallon of a different cleaner. I'm going to again run that for another 30 to 45 minutes at 3,000 RPM. At that point, we're gonna drain the oil again, or drain the cleaner. Then we're gonna drain the filter, remove the filter again, and then install regular engine oil. And we're gonna determine uh, how, much, uh, how much was cleaned out and how much uh, sludge and or coking slash carbon buildup has been removed from the inside of the engine. The idea here is, is to free up those rings and get all that nasty stuff out of those piston rings. That will allow them to have a better seal. It might work, it might not, but it's definitely worth a shot. So, ah, that rhymed too. So we've already popped in the hood twice. Uh, let's go ahead and shut this thing down and uh, see uh, exactly what the deal is gonna be here. Now, this procedure is gonna take a couple hours. So Troy's gonna help us. We see there's some smoke and stuff coming out from under the hood. Uh, we need to set the rack. Oh, smoky. Yep, we need to set the rack. There we go. And uh, while that's getting set up, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this uh, leaking valve cover. You see there's oil everywhere down here. Now, the reason that we're gonna do this in conjunction with this valve cover job is number one, I wanna see if we end up with that kind of smoke underneath. I also wanna see how well this thing cleans everything uh, once we're done with the procedure. So, we're probably gonna pull this valve cover off more than once just so we can take a look at uh, how effective that service was. So stay tuned because this right here is gonna be an extremely interesting and good video. Happening Z Hood. Yeah. All right, now over here, I've got the, uh, the multi-part kit. So we've got one bottle of dynamic engine cleaner. And then right here, we've got a, uh, a rinse oil. This is our second stage. After we uh, do the oil change and run procedure with the rinse oil, that's when we will then install uh, regular engine oil. I have some instructions here in case we need them. All right, now in, in the name of science, we're gonna conduct this experiment uh, with some evidence here. We're gonna take samples of our engine oil during each phase of, uh, of this process here. So this is gonna be our control. This is our baseline oil. We're gonna take a sample out of what's already in the crankcase. This is gonna be cleaner. Number one, we'll take a sample after that. This is gonna be the rinse oil. Hmm, that one gets a three. And that will be our rinse oil. And then after our rinse oil sample, we will then uh, just add engine oil to the engine and that will be that. So, Let's go ahead and get this thing up in the air, take our first oil sample, and then go from there. Troy, do you want to do the honors, sir? Yeah. Push the up button. Begin moving up now. Rack's already set. 
good to go here. You are getting good at raising cars up. A little bit at a time, sir. So while this thing is uh, moving on up, and while Troy is preparing together our oral sample, I'm gonna go get some 10 millimeters on the wobblies, maybe a 13, and we're gonna pull this valve cover off. Okie doke, so what I want you to do, take that cup, get a sample of your engine oil, just like maybe like a quarter of that cup. Okay. So pull your plug, get a sample of that, put your plug back in, and then let it back down, okay? Definitely. All right. Almost, or like, the threads look kind of chowdery. Can you turn that by hand yet? Let me see, let me get in there. Ah, uh, not a chance, okay. Continue. There we go, we got a tool upgrade going here. Just don't let that drop, we wanna, because I'm actually gonna run some EPR in there too. I'm, I'm adding a step to the uh, the process. Okay. Because I, I have some cans of the EPR. The EPR is what we'd use, like if we normally were gonna do an oil flush. So let me, uh, let me get in there and get it. Like if we were just doing an oil change and I wanted to put some cleaner in there, I would use some EPR. Yeah, this is fuel diluted. Uh, all right, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, tighten that up, and then, oh, it's burning, but I can't let it go. Hot, there you go. You see our sample. All right, that's a, uh, just our base oil sample. We'll set this one aside. That's sample numero uno. Yep. All right, let's let this down now. Uh, we're gonna put some EPR on the crankcase and let that run for five, 10 minutes and then uh, we'll start on the valve cover. And then after we do the valve cover, we can uh, we can go ahead and uh, start the uh, the actual flush cleaning process. So again, this, uh, this particular can is not part of the kit. This is one we would use normally if we were just gonna do an oil change and then add cleaner. But I figure it couldn't hurt to include it. We'll do like a pre-clean before we uh, get everything super clean the idea. Toss that guy back on and restocking the engine. Beginning engine stocking sequence now. Ah, it's smoking. Yeah, that's all the smoke coming from that exhaust leak down there. So now we have a baseline visual of what's going on. We're going to try to make that stop doing that. Okay, so while our cleaner's going, I'm kind of going to start disassembly just to save us some time. We have to remove all these uh, cables. These are the kick down cables for oops, don't do that. This is the kick down cable for the trans throttle cable and the uh, cruise control cable, which I'm sure is not uh, functional. Stash that over there. This one's zip tied on. That's cool. Let me cut that off. Get that cable through its little bracket. It's hard to do. It's all hot in here. Here we'll go under here with a trim tool and press that clip. gotta cut this little zip tie off right here. Okay, let's get this last cable off of here. I've gotta cut the zip tie because the little connector thing's broken. No worries. Set that thing aside. My, my good man, will you reach in and shut this down? It's been 10, 15 minutes. I think we're good. We're done. Jeep powering down. Okay, so what we need to do, hot, Get this kind of out of the way because all the perimeter bolts for this valve cover are around the perimeter of the valve cover. Imagine that. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Here, bungee that to like your fender well or something. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go in with these tens, pull all this off, and we're gonna see what's going on underneath this cover. I bet it's total nasty carnage. <laughs> I got a ratchet strap to the coil spring. Oh, that's good. Can you grab the snap-on overhead also? Okay, now, since this thing is hot and oily, and I don't want to be hot or oily, I'm going to use the gloves. It would keep my, my pretty fingers pretty. So, uh, let's go ahead and get these bolts out of this thing and pop this cover and see how nasty it is underneath. Oh, that's not tight. That's kind of not tight. That's not tight. That's kind of not tight. None of these are tight. I wonder if the gasket in here is cork and it has compressed over time, causing the valve cover to be loose. Quite possible. Hot. Hey, that one was tight. Kind of. Which point in that? Another? Oh, hot. It's hot in there. Jeez. 
it's gonna be super hot after we run this to uh, get that cleaner to go through. Would you fetch me a quarter inch drive extension, sir? Yeah. About uh, eight inches or so. Uh, that's a three eighths drive. Remember? Your job is to become proficient in quarter inch drive first and then we will escalate to larger calipers. Calipers. I say caliper and caliber at the same time. There, there's one right there. And I think there's one more hiding out back behind this. Yeah. Would you also be a deer and fetch uh, a magnet on a stick? Da. Are you Ruski? Da. He's learning to speak Ruski. That way if the Russians invade, uh, we can talk to them before we... Never mind, can't say that here. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, all we need to know, if the Russians show up, all we need to learn is Das Vidanya. And then we'll be good. If anybody here is Russian, sorry, I'm not picking on you guys. Yet. Yeah. I got that one. Yes, sir. This thing's hot. I need a, uh, like a rag or something. Something to heat insulate myself from the heat. There's too many BTUs that have soaked into this to make it uh, comfortable to the touch. Uh, come out. Oh, look, a hose clamp's in the way. That's nice. Oh, come out. There, don't touch that, it's hot. There we go, I got it. I got it, and behold the carnage. That's nasty. Look at that. Wow. Is that cork? This is a cork gasket. Yes, it is. 100% cork gasket. Take a look here, you can see, see how that uh, gasket material is all flattened out and squished? Because it's made of cork. Same thing that uh, they plug the wine bottles with. That's, uh, that's pretty gross. We should clean that out. Okay, so what Troy's gonna do is take this thing over to like one of the oil drains and he's gonna clean this cork off of here and go in there with like a wire brush and try to clean all this out. The, uh, the experiment regarding the cleaner is gonna be how well does it clean out all of this crusty, nasty buildup, the stuff that's on top of the rockers, all this grossness around here, all that grossness down there, some of that in the back. So what we're gonna do we're gonna clean all that up. We're gonna clean this surface up. That way the new gasket uh, doesn't uh, have to try to seal on top of dirt. We'll clean that off and then we'll go ahead and proceed and perform the uh, cleaning procedures with the, uh, the chemicals that are uh, in the jugs over there on the floor. That's the plan. Wipe it down, clean it off, get rid of all the nasty. And there's a lot of it, it's gross. 300,000 miles of Jeep abuse. Okay, so that gasket sealing surface is uh, fairly cleaned. It's been wiped down. Again, once we uh, pull this cover off for the second time, we're gonna be looking for a reduction in buildup, like uh, on these push rods, a reduction in buildup on all these rockers, everything on top of the cylinder head. And we're gonna end up looking for a cleaner overall surface inside of this valve cover right here. But first we gotta get the gasket and whatnot off. Troy's working on that. Yay. See, this is why I hate cork gaskets, you see that? They just get stuck in little pieces and they don't come off. It's horrible. Okay, so I'm all done up here until that valve cover's prepped. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and drain that oil out of this thing. It's gonna take him a while to get that thing cleaned up. It's pretty nasty. Not fun, is it? No? You don't like it? All right. See, we're not having just another oil change video. This is like a super oil change. This is like a oil change cubed. It's like even past the square power of an oil change. We're uh, cubically changing engine oil. We're changing engine oil cleaner. All kinds of stuff. All right, now don't forget, this is the, uh, the first spill out of three. This is one out of three. Get this guy off of here. Oh, that's gross. That oil looks less dark. Weird. You know, we're gonna take a sample uh, 1.5. This will be the sample with the EPR cleaner only in it. 
All righty, we're done draining. Let's go ahead and get our uh, plug back in. Then we'll let this down, change the filter out with uh, our first filter of three. And then uh, once that is complete, I should be able to get that valve cover back on and then we can uh, install the first, uh, first jug of cleaner. Why do corporations no longer fear the consumers? Okay, now I've uh, kind of shot myself in the foot having these things bungee cord far away, loud noises. I need to unbungee the heater hoses. Then I can reach down and get a hold of that oil filter down there. These are uh, nearly impossible to remove from the top. Or, I'm sorry, from the bottom. You've got to reach at them from the top. There's a starter in the way. Become, oh, that's tight. Ugh, okay, need pliers. Going in, filter pliers. That's a tight squeeze on that thing. I wonder if I should have uh, broken it loose from the bottom. Oh, unclick. Oh, that's on there too. Ugh. Troy's still back there uh, polishing off that cork material. There we go. That's coming free. I'm going to make sure that our temporary filters do not go on this tight. That's on there. Hey, you run out of air pressure, sir. Of the compressor's off. There we go. And drain pan. There's one. Section two. Come on, filter unit. Eee, hot. Seriously? The deep thing. Okay, that is filter number one. We'll keep that right there with oil sample number one. Go ahead and get filter number two installed. Okay, filter two coming in. Let's we'll screw that guy on. It's only gonna be here for about an hour. And then we take this thing back off and it'll get changed out with another filter uh, for the second stage of cleaning product. There we go, filter clip. All righty. Mr. Troy has got this as clean as I think he can get it. It's been scraped out, it's been wire brushed out, it's been air gunned out, it's been dried out. I know it's not pretty, but it's cleaner than it was. So, what we need to do, we've got our new gasket here. It's a Philip Pro blue, so you know it's good. I'm gonna stick this thing in, set that down on top of the head, just like so. Then we'll bring in the, the valve cover, set that down in place, and then get that thing bolted down. At some point here, we're actually gonna get around to cleaning out this engine. Just not right now. <laughs> Slide this thing into place. Come on, get in there. Don't be difficult. Do not fight me. I will pry bar you into place. Oh, there it is. I had to squeeze it past the, uh, the thermostat housing. Yeah, that's, that's about right where it goes. Okay, so seeing as how we're gonna remove this uh, fairly soon, all I'm gonna do here is uh, just run a couple bolts into it, four or five or six, and then uh, that'll just be enough to hold the thing down. Then we'll be able to start it and run it and run that cleaner through there. Uh, Mr. Troy, will you grab that gallon of cleaner behind us, sir? Go ahead and throw it, open that up. Go. Grab a, a funneling device and begin the pour, please. Okay, that's four volt. That should be funny to secure this cover for the time being. You know what? Maybe five. Let's do one back here. Another. There. Cleaner's coming in. It looks like oil. It smells kind of not like oil at all. <laughs> That is the stage one dynamic engine cleaner, GG products, not sponsored, that's just what I use. 
Okay, so this next phase, we can go ahead and pull that out. This next phase is gonna take about 45 minutes. Let's take note of the condition of the crusties on this cap. Sir, would you go ahead and restart the engine, please? Fire it up. Let's get this out of here. No, not, not that. Not fire in the hole. All right, so what we need to do, let's check oil pressure real quick. Make sure we still have it. We have oil pressure. Yeah, right over there. 35-ish something pounds. What we're gonna do, we're gonna run this throttle up to about 3,000 RPM. And we're gonna let this thing run for 45 minutes. Then we'll come back to it, shut it down, take an oil sample. That's gonna be cup number two. After that, we can drain it out again. And then we're gonna install the second phase of the cleaner and repeat the procedure. Okay, let me go ahead and fashion uh, some kind of a throttle stop here. We'll use some cardboard. It's highly effective. We've got a throttle cable lever here. We just need to shim that, uh, shim that up. Yeah, we can step it up just a little bit more. Full throttle! Oh. Yeah, 22, 2300. I think we're... I think I'll just leave it right there. That's probably good. Pressure's up. One more piece of paper. Okay, so we just need to leave this thing alone for about 45 minutes, after which time we'll shut it down and uh, repeat a similar procedure with the second gallon of cleaner, and then we'll go from there. All right, 20 minute recheck. Let's see what we've got here. Coolant temp's good. Oil pressure's kind of falling a little bit but that stuff's also very hot so as long as it doesn't fall uh, any lower than 20 pounds I think we're okay so we're halfway through I've got a fan in the front to help keep it cool so far so good fan gravity oh no It has been 44 minutes. Oil pressure is still good. Temp is still good. Let's bring this back down to an idle. And then we can shut her down. A lot of paper, huh? That's hot too. Oh my goodness. There we go. All right, well, we're still kind of smoking. But let's move on to stage two. Let's reach in here. We're going to shut her down, raise her up. Pull the plug, take a sample, refill again with the second bottle of the rinse solution, and then we'll do the same procedure, 45 more minutes. At that point, we can collect our next sample. All right, moving back up, all the way up. Caster Troy. Ah. That's what we're gonna call him, Caster Troy. Remember that movie, Face Off? Yeah. Caster Troy, where is, will you fetch my cup number two? Let me see those things. I'll pull the plug out, you grab cup number two. Let's take a uh, sample number two. One click. Oh. This is hot, so use extreme caution. It's kind of warm. Very warm. It's kind of warm? Yeah, it's a little warm in there. Running 45 minutes at uh, 2,000 RPM in a stationary position. That'll put some heat into anything. It's got some heat into it. Come on. It's like the endless threaded drain plug right here. Hey, watch, watch, watch. He doesn't know we're looking at him. Ha, gotcha. 
Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Take it easy. We got plenty of time to close. Ow, it's hot. <laughs> All right, now you can go ahead. <laughs> you got plenty of time, right? Yeah, we have plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, that was warm. How much you got in there? A fourth of a cup? Let me see. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, get like half a cup and put that next to the uh, the other cups over yonder. I know how to get this out with a magnet. Whoa, here it comes. Let it ride. I'm going to stand back over here. This is like medieval torture. Ooh, look at that. It's no oil change that I've ever seen before. I wonder what all that stuff is. Probably shouldn't breathe it. Let's get out of here. Backing up. All right, it's Troy's turn to burn himself. So we're putting the strain plug back in. I'm trying to use the extractor device so we don't uh, get the lubricating cleaner on us. Yeah, that's all you get. Yeah? Yeah, it's not gonna turn anymore. Ah. Now I gotta use the wrench. Ah. What? I'll do it. You scared? You're scared. Yeah. You're scared. It's okay to be scared. It's only a drain plug. All right, grab a grab the green pan and move the green oil drain pan down here so we can swap that filter out again. And then we'll uh, move on to phase two, which is the oil rinse canister. Yeah, right there. Go ahead and let her down, sir. Thank you. Deep gravity coming down all the way down. All right, funnel coming back in. Let's add our second gallon of cleaner business in there. Here you go. Here you go. You do the honors of pouring things. Da. No prende. Ooh, that one's different. That one's clear. And it tells us to run this same jug at 45 minutes, uh, just the same way as we did the first jug. Jug number two complete. It's not ketchup. <laughs> well, it's not. It's not original. It's not ketchup. I can't believe it's not ketchup. It's not. Here, throw a. Here you go. Uh, there it is. Hmm. Not sure if that's any better or any worse. I'll have to take a look. I'll have to take a look at it. Uh, Ow, hot. After we uh, run the second gallon through here. Okay, sir, please restarting the engine for us. Wait, no, 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 wait. I'm silly. We skipped a step. We gotta change the filter. We gotta change the scalding hot evil filter of death. Let's uh let's get our bungee cord off. Put that back. Yeah, we completely neglected to remember that filter. Oopsie. Here, put that over there. Warm. Oh, we forgot our fender cover. Hang on here. Let's get our fender cover on it so we don't scratch the paint. <laughs> it's like Ray, are you a troll? Are you trolling the trolls? Unclick filter. I think I got a towel in here. This might be uh, somewhat warm. Spin that thing off. Come on, hot. And we gotta reach back in there. Get a hold of it with the towel. This is the shortest duration oil filter ever. 45 minutes. Okay, that's uh, that's filter number two that came with sample number two. Hot! Oh! We need another filter. This is going to be for the cleaner, the second stage of the cleaner, the rinsing solution. And then the final filter will be uh, installed with uh, the actual engine oil. Come here. One-handed filter installations. Because why not? There we go. Screw that guy in. Come on, filter. This is why I'm not pre-filling it, because it uh, it's sideways. You rich to this. Okay, sir, please uh, feel free to restart the engine at your leisure. Ah! It is alive. Do you have engine oil pressure, sir? Yes. Good. Any leaks? Uh, negative. Let's raise, uh, raise our uh, RPM one more time, and then uh, we'll wait 45 more minutes. Two 
1,000 RPM. Very good. I'll check back in with you guys in another 45 minutes. Back again, 45 minutes later. You can see just like the first time, oil pressure started to fall a little bit. Coolant temp's a little high, but it's still within range. This is good. Now that oil pressure, that's gonna be one of two things. Uh, thing number one is the fluid's just getting hot and it's causing pressure to fall down. Or uh, thing number two is that it's actually breaking up uh, deposits, you know, chunks of sludge and whatnot, and that's starting to clog the filter. Uh, also a possibility. Uh, what we can do, I think, is maybe cut these filters open later on is to find out. Regardless, idle down. Regardless, we are done with the high RPM action. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down again. I'm gonna let her cool off. Whoa, got some smoke coming out back here too. What was that about? Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and shut this thing down. Pew. Let her cool off some. We're gonna drain that oil. Let's go ahead and run this up and start the drain right now. That way it's all gone. And then uh, as it cools down, we'll just let it keep on draining. So we'll have an extended drain interval. Okay, let's get our hose bungee cord back in place right here. Going in for that uh, scalding hot filter replacement one last time. Give it some reach. Filter unclick. Wow, that's tight. Seriously? Oh, I can't get it off. How'd that happen? Man, I did not need to, didn't think I'd need the filter pliers a, on a second, on a second time, but here's what it is, unkick. Oh, come on, filter pliers, engage. It's because I didn't put lube on the surface. Come off. It's because everything's hot and expanded, that's what the deal is. There we go. It's coming loose. Let's get these guys out of here. Come here. Come out, folks. So hot. All right, going in. Yeah, that's that was tight. Spin that thing off. Let it fall. Spillage action. I hear it. I've got to get my hand out of here and cool off every couple seconds because the heat hot it's like one of those crabs that's running through the desert but only one foot touches the ground or spiders or spider crabs whatever those are you guys know what i'm talking about troy knows what i'm talking about right yeah yeah from the discovery channel okay i have no it's, idea what you're talking about you don't know what the discovery channel is no hey you youngins oh hot <laughs> hot 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 Whew. why didn't you let it cool off because i'm impatient that's why Okay, so let's put this one over here. That's our cup for sample number three. New filter. New filter going in behind the oil pressure sensor. On the threads we go. Yeah, this is like four oil changes in one. It's like a whole month's worth of oil change videos. <laughs> there we go, that filter's on. I'm sure they're good. tired of it by now. All right, let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's go ahead and raise this thing up, see what our oil sample looks like. All right, Caster Troy, woo! Go ahead and grab the uh, the cup. He didn't get the joke. Did you guys get the Caster Troy joke? He didn't get it. Do you know who Caster Troy was? Nope. Did you ever see Face Off with John Travolta and uh, Nicolas Cage? Nope. Do you know who John Travolta and Nicolas Cage are? I know who Nicolas Cage is. All right, you don't know who John Travolta is? Nope. Grease? Nope. Really? He reminds me of me 20 years ago. And that's kind of scary. What have I done? Oil Niagara. You're good, you got plenty. Go, go, go. There you go. Ah, oh, run! So now we're back to a waiting game again until this thing is done drip drying, or drip draining, or drip drizzling. One or all of those above. It's uh, There's a lot in there and it's all very hot, so it's gonna take some time for all that to wick out of the engine and then find its way down into the pan. So uh, we're just, again, we're on standby for a little bit until this is done draining, but we'll be right back. Okay, we've had a boatload of drain, engine oil drain time. It's starting to cool off some. Let's get back to that valve cover. So drain plug back in. This is gonna be the finalized drain plug removal uh, for this particular procedure. So let's get this thing tight and we're pretty much done down here. 
come on, become tight. The threads on this are not okay. There we go. It's backing. All right, drain plug leakage, 32 foot-pounds of torque, that's good. Let's roll our oil drain caddy out. Jeep coming down. There we go. All the way down. All right, seats on the ground. Let's get back after that valve cover gasket, or valve cover again. Right, there's our tray. Let's pull these bolts back out. And, uh, take a look under this cover and see if we can see a difference. I don't know if we will. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I guess it doesn't matter. What ultimately matters is, can we reduce the amount of uh, tailpipe smoke that this engine was making? Yeah. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Don't laugh at me. Yeah, there's one more in the back. I put that one in, it was leaking. That's hot. Okay, I'm gonna get smart magnet on a stick. There we go. Genius maneuver. Hot, 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 hot. Go. There we go. All right. Okay, that thing's uh, loose again. Don't touch it. It's hot. He touches it. That's funny. You are like a mini me. It's like, hey, don't burn yourself on that. Okay. It's all right, what do we have here? What do we have? What do we have? We have stinky action is what we have. Ooh, that's not too shabby in there. Okay, so my first impression is I think this was somewhat effective. If we look at the coking and the buildup on these push rods, they do appear to be a little bit cleaner. I don't see as much nasty hanging out in to on top of the rocker arms. I can actually see the bottom of them through the oil now. And it does appear that this valve cover is much cleaner than it was. So since it's off, I'm going to give this thing back to Troy. And I want you to clean this out with some, uh, some brake cleaning and a couple towels just to get, the, get as much of that off there as we can. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing put back together and then reseal it. And then we'll, uh, we'll refill the engine oil. Buying nasty valve cover. Yeah, just a, a can, maybe four or five cans of brake clean. Maybe a whole case if that's what it takes. I just, I bet there is a whole case somewhere. Yeah, just spray it down, then wipe it down just to get rid of whatever else is in there. I mean, it's not much. I, I can definitely see a bunch of that was broken up. And if that's the case, then this, uh, this amount of sludge is also present in those rings and that's gonna start to break up as well. So I'm, I'm pretty sure this did something. That carbon is like melting away. This is good. Nasty build up. Yeah, just let it soak in the bottom of that pan. Or, well, top of the cover. Same difference. It's top of the bottom? Whatever. Same thing. You know what I mean. Don't breathe it. It'll kill you. It's perking. Hey, this is the new brake clean can. We haven't done this yet. Check it out. Highly effective. Oh no, it's running out another! Ah! Oh wow. Yeah, that's getting there, isn't it? All right, yeah, dump that out. Go ahead and dump it out. Hmm, we should brake clean the whole engine. I'll tell you what, let's take this over there on the floor and just spray it out with some air. What do you say? Check it out too. I have my hose reel hooked up after six months. No, all the way outside, outside, put it outside. Yeah, I don't want to spray all that crap on the floor. We just cleaned it, kind of. Goodbye, nasty. Okay, chunks are removed back to the truck. All right, enough screwing around here. Valve cover coming in. This is the finalized installation. We're gonna get this thing bolted down and seated. 
and refill the engine oil. And then uh, maybe we'll check for uh, some smoke at the tailpipe once this thing's back together. There we go. Seems to be in the correct position. Okay, all the bolts have been uh, started and put down in position. Let's begin torquing them without stripping them. That would be bad. Give it back. Next. And the one in the back. That one's the one that burns. There we go. Another one that burns. Another one. That one there. Hot. I'm hot. My good man. Will you go fetch your funnel? And uh, prepare the engine oil for installation. Because this, uh, this phase is nearly completish. I want to see if this is going to smoke. Very curious. Extremely curious. I need to know. Do you want to use all of this? Yep. That one's tight. That one. That one. Let's do a quick recheck. Don't worry. My icrometer tells me this is a. These are torqued to the right specified amount. It's a superpower. All right, this is looking good. Begin engine installation oil procedure. Now that didn't come out the right way. <laughs> you guys know what I meant, right? Troy does. He knows what I meant. Yeah. Yep. All right, pour all that stuff in there. We've got. Uh, I got a bunch of extra 540. We're gonna use that. Couldn't hurt. Not in this thing. It's not going to care. We need some hose that is not garden hose for this PCV business right here. I think I've got one somewhere. Hmm. I, I swear I do. I just yeah, can't gonna, find it. Yeah, we're going to need that. I'm going back to the junk I'll find one. Good. Very good. This thing reeks. It's smelly. It smells so bad. But anyway, while you're doing that, I'm going to get my magnet tray out of here. And... I'll uh, get that bungee cord off of there and then try to get these cables put back where they belong. Hmm, there's a vacuum leak. No, 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 This one. That's our throttle cable. We'll do that one first. Slip that one into its bracket, click it in, snap it on. Okay, oil cap back on. We put in roughly five ish something cords. Nobody really counted. We'll figure that out in a minute. Let's get uh let's get our trans kick down cable snapped back into its position here. It's gonna go hope I got this in the right spot. Begin snapping in now. There we go. That one's gonna loop on there, and then we need to zip tie attach it. And that last cable, that one's gonna go right here. And then snap that one on. Click. Okay, that's three cables reinstalled. Back on their bracket. Valve covers installed. We don't have any of these vacuum lines left because they were all tape and nonsense. So I got rid of those. Oils installed. Pull your dipstick real quick. Let's see what's in there. Preliminarily. Give her a wipe down here. Okay. Ah. I think this is a six quart engine. Where are we at? Uh, we're up here right above the safe, so that's probably enough right there to fill the filter. Put that back in. Let us restocking the engine. I would like to do the honors this time. Beginning engine starting sequence now. Here we go. Oil pressure. There we go. We have oil pressure. Go check for tailpipe smoke. Hey Troy, give me some RPM action up there. Yeah. We're gonna check this for some smoke, see what happens. Hey. All right. Not bad. No, not a. That may have been a, a success. Oh yeah. That's really cool. Here, tell you what. 
toss in a can of MOA and then drive it and we'll check it again tomorrow to see if it's still smoking. So that's pretty good for now. I, I think we achieved some level of success. I'm gonna do maybe one quick video later on about those oil samples that we took. I'll put them in something clear so we can put some light behind it and see just how uh, how opaque or how obstructed or how contaminated it is with uh, with debris. Uh, but now we're gonna have to save that one. But we're gonna have to save that one for another video. This one's running a little long. So that being said, we're gonna go ahead and close this video out right now. As always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to let me know about that by tapping that like button down below. Drop me a comment or two while you're down there. And most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. In the transmission, in the Jeep, in the video, in the day. Adios, sayonara, auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, da svidania. And goodbye. Aloha. Goodbye, Jeep. Again.